Welcome to Movie Reviews by South the Normal with your host, me, Michael Soren. Today we're talking about Black Adam, the Dwayne Johnson vehicle that's been 15 plus years in the making. Um, after 5,000 years, he was after he was bestowed these powers 5,000 years ago from the ancient gods and imprisoned just as quickly after that, Black Adam has been freed to the earthly tomb to unleash his unique form of justice. Um, the movie's okay. It felt cookie cutter. Like there's this machine making these comic book movies. It's like this works, this works, this works. Take out hero here, put in hero there, and repeat. It just felt like there's a lot of all other DC movies within that, following the same structure and plotting. I mean, yeah, you could say the same for Marvel. I'm not not gonna throw DC under the bus, but there is something different about dc movies that i don't know what do you guys think what what's dc doing differently and just let me know down below like what because they made some okay ones and i mean wonder woman was good the first one and aquaman but for the most part there's been clunkers for dc i don't know if you consider uh the batman a dc picture yes it's a dc comic but I don't know, because that Batman was phenomenal. I love that. Uh, Black Adam is like really, the only thing it has going for it is The Rock and his likability. Anyone else's movie would never have met, not have been made. Because like I said, 15 years ago they announced it. And it took them this long to get here. So there's been a lot of hands in the pot, a lot of pushback, a lot of fighting to get it made. So maybe there's been a lot of changes to make it made the way the studio would accept. <clears throat> so maybe there's some things missing that would have made it better. It lays a lot of pipe for future. Like it's a pipe laying vehicle for future pictures. Because there's a lot of, lot of like buildup. And while the action scenes are good, I felt like they weren't the, <clears throat> it wasn't the main focus. Like you're going to have a good time watching it. It's very entertaining. But at the same time, it's more of a popcorn movie and a concession stand movie than anything else. You're going to go, you're going to want to eat your popcorn to the end, go get your refill and get something else and come back. And you're probably going to be like, you don't need, it. it's not the worst DC movie. It's just, it's, it's, eh. I've never read the comics. Maybe that would help me understand this. Maybe that would help me give it a better review. Uh, Cause the visual effects were great. Uh, it has its moments, but it was just too cookie cutter. And just maybe that's part of the the compromise over the 15 years was you, you can't do that. You got to do this because it's this what we like. Maybe that's maybe that's the problem with DC and Marvel is there's two the people who have their hands in the pot just don't get it. I mean Marvel, DC, not not Marvel. They just don't understand what people like. In comic book movies. I'm sure I'm going to be told I'm off base. Please do down in the comments. And Black Adam's going to come back because you got The Rock. Like, of course. I'm trying to be spoiler free. I'm not trying to put anything out there so you guys know. But it was just, there's a lot of enjoyable moments and solid, a solid cast to back up uh, The Rock. But it's very, the, the story, not much meat there. Not much. That's just my personal opinion. To be a B level movie, not like a B movie, like you like a grindhouse type thing, but on a, a grading scale, if I were to assign it a letter grade, I'd give it a B to B plus, depending on my mood. Because if you watch Community, the show. Pluses and minuses don't really mean anything. They're just there to screw with your head. Shout out to community lovers. Hit the comments below. If you love community, I'm going to be talking about it coming up. There's a shill plug for my upcoming. Uh, I feel like you've been, you've been hearing about Black Adam for so long. And now that it's finally here, it was just like, wah, wah. I think like, ugh. it just happened with Morbius on a much more extreme level. I mean, they, I don't know if they pushed Black Adam's release date, but 
like they did with Morbius, but it's like you heard about it, you keep hearing about it, you keep hearing about it, and then you see it and you're just like, God damn it, why'd I watch it? I don't feel that way about Black Adam, though, not that strongly. Couldn't go that route. Um, I enjoyed Black Adam. It was okay. I wanted more because of um all the promotion they do for it, all the way The Rock talked about it and all that. It delivers a decent enough time, but at the end of the day, if you're dying to see Black Adam, you're going to go see Black Adam, you'll enjoy it. If you're hesitant to see Black Adam and you go see Black Adam, you're 50, 50 like, like 60, 40, not going to enjoy it. And if you, only only thing I can see happening is most people aren't going to see it because they're like, oh, it's a comic book movie. It looks stupid. But then there's a good chunk of those people who are like, stars the rock. Got to go see it. And they're probably not going to like it. I don't know. That's just my gut feeling. I'm probably off base. You can tell me in the comments. Um, Yeah, go check it out. Let me know what you think. Black Adam is out now. Well worth a watch. Just because it wasn't, uh, you'll get it. You'll escape for two hours. It felt long. It did feel long to me, despite its two-hour runtime, which is very short in terms of comic book fodder that we get now. But check it out. Let me know what you think. You guys are awesome.